Hi, my name is Mike Robinson. I'm here at St. George with Utah Helicopter. Uh, we're out in the R44, and today I'm with my friend and co-worker, Jake Clark. Say hi, Jake. What's up, YouTube? So, today we're going to work on the altimeter. Jake's going to take us through the altimeter here. So, it is one of six instruments on the panel there. So there it is right there. Beautiful instrument. So our altimeter, it works off our what's called our pitot-static system. Um, and it works off of what's called our static port. <clears throat> Inside our altimeter, we have what's called an aneroid wafer that measures the atmospheric pressure outside. And then our altimeter, kind of we can kind of work through the face of it right here. So we have all these different numbers and we have all these different dials that give us different information. So this white dial right here, or needle right here, shows us um, how many feet we are in tens of thousands of feet. So if I went up to 10,000 feet, this needle would move over to this one. And then this little cross hatch down here would disappear, telling me that I'm at 10,000 feet. This smaller needle right here shows me my thousands of feet. So right now it's between the two and three, so I know I'm at somewhere between two and three thousand feet. And then this longer needle right here tells me my hundreds of feet. So now I know I'm at 2,500 and about 50 feet, well about 75 feet right there. So what happens if you set it to two nine or nine or two? So if I need to know what my pressure altitude outside is, I'm going to set this to two nine or nine or two. And then if this altimeter right here leads, reads lower than my field elevation, I know I have a high pressure system outside. If it reads above my field elevation, I know I have a low pressure outside. Okay, and so how do you adjust for barometric change? So for barometric change, I'm going to adjust it using this little knob right here. And then I use this little window over here, for which is called my Colesman window, that shows me my, or my pressure or my barometric pressure that I should set it for. So if I want to set this at my field elevation, so here today we're about 2,800 and about 80 feet. So right there is about my field elevation. And my altimeter over here would read, or my barometric pressure over here would read 3025. Uh, okay, and uh, how do we set the altimeter when we know the altimeter setting? Uh, we're just going to do that. So we're going to listen to either like our AWOS or our ATIS and get what our altimeter setting should be. And then we're going to use this Colesman window to set that over here, or this knob and this Colesman window to set that altimeter setting in there for the, for the day, whatever our flight is for. And what if I don't have an altimeter setting to set it to? If I don't have an altimeter setting, then I'm just going to set my altimeter at my field elevation. Oh, okay. Well, that's pretty good, Jake. Appreciate it. No problem. So have a good one. See ya.